Mm-hmm. Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One to start the timer. Hells to the uh, TNT. So I just saw a story that really kind of uh, is disgusting, but it, it leads into a question. So the story I'll talk about first. It says sure. a, a, a four-year-old Louisiana girl mm-hmm. died after her grandmother forced her to drink a bottle of whiskey. Okay. It said that is unfortunate. It said that the, the adults left the bottle out. Mm-hmm. The girl took a drink of it, and as a punishment, they forced her to drink the rest of the bottle while, like, her mom watched. Oh, said that's... the kid's blood alcohol was .68. <laughs> oh no, that's awful. Oh, like, oh no, right? And like, how oh, did no. you like? How did you think that would be a Good punishment. Ooh, Obviously, they're going to get in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, I would hope so. But in this same like frame of thing, did did anyone when you were younger did they ever be like, "Hey, try this beer. Hey, have a shot of whiskey," or like anything like when you were like a kid? No, no you're you're telling me this was a segue into asking me if my father ever offered <laughs> me a your, sip of beer. Not- <laughs> Is this seriously where the fuck you're going with this? <laughs> You tell me the horrific death of a four-year-old yeah. to ask me, hey, did your uncle ever give you a sip of his drinking flask? <laughs> his drinking flask. You piece of shit. For, no. <laughs> first off, rest in peace, young lady, because that was very harmful of what your family did to you. Did anyone ever make you drink when listen, you were younger? Listen, listen, listen. Awful story, by the way. That yeah. was terrible. I, you know, hopefully those people get what they deserve. That's that old school, like, Archie Bunker type of, like, I'm, I'm, I'll fix you. I'll make you smoke a whole pack of cigarettes. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. Or, like, did your parents ever catch you smoking cigarettes no. and make you smoke the whole freaking just, pack? Or? Wouldn't that just make you get addicted faster to the cigarette? I think the mindset is, like... Like you'll un, you're not enjoy the experience because so you're going to be coughing and nasty. You're probably yeah. going to puke. Have you ever? I mean, like, have you ever tried to smoke many many cigarettes back to back to back to back to back and like you start feeling sick? Yeah, not not a fan. No, I've never really done that, but I've never you know wanted to, and I wouldn't do what I wouldn't want to do in that occasion. Yeah, but like I don't understand why like parents think that's a good way to punish their kids i don't think that's the the mindset anymore like you know smoking and drinking are definitely looked up on i wouldn't say drinking so much but uh smoking is definitely looked up on a little bit differently um okay so well to answer your question your initial question your segue question off of the uh terrible story the, the death of this poor young lady i will say is that no i can't really think of a time where i was offered alcohol or like a cigarette or anything from an adult i can't really think of one yeah i don't like i i vaguely remember for some reason in my head i i i try i I remember like my grandpa telling me to take drink whiskey like a shot of whiskey yeah but like when i've brought it up it's adamantly denied so like i don't know is this in my head or are they just gaslighting the shit out of me because it was very wrong for them to do that you know you know what i remember one time for like new year's or something they told me it was champagne but it could have just been sparkling grape juice or sprite or whatever yeah, yeah. I, well it was, definitely wasn't sprite i think it was like you know like the sparkling grape juice are coming like a champagne oh yeah it's basically non-alcoholic champagne yeah, yeah. so they had like a, they had like a bottle of that and they had a bottle of real stuff i think and I was just too dumb to like try to get to the bottom of things, but that's the closest thing I got. Yeah, yeah, my, uh, yeah, like I mean, I'm trying to think of like I think like when I was not a kid, but like in mm-hmm. high school, mm-hmm. like my mom had let me drink every like on New Year's if I was home with them sometimes, but not like get ridiculous. I, I drink how much? Just some. What's like, some? Not like not like get weight wasted. I, like, I don't know how much. Is have some? a couple drinks with them. Two. I just don't remember how many. I, I felt drunk because I was a 16-year-old. Oh, I mean, fair. All right. Yeah. I mean, Jones, Jones was living a lifestyle. The statutes are over, so it's okay to talk about <laughs> it. Really? Yeah, I don't want to embarrass your, your mom or your family. For it's the, all right. We'll get her right. on here. She'll tell you. You brought shit. it up, so that's yeah. no reason no, to ask. Like, uh, but no, like, I, uh, there was one time that I got into my mom's liquor cabinet when she didn't say it was okay, <laughs> and I puked all over the house. Really? Yeah, dude. Me and, uh, oh. me and a friend... Uh, went to my mom's and mm-hmm. drank while she was asleep. I guess I vomited in the living room, and <laughs> ah! uh, and then my grandma called at like seven a.m. like coming over to visit, and like my mom cleaned it up for me. Like, she was, she, <laughs> I was like, why didn't you wake me up? I would have been pissed. 
She's like, I wasn't happy. And I was like, ah, well. You, you know what's crazy? Just like I can, I can tell you right now is that my parents never caught me under the influence, whether it be uh, a narcotic or a, I mean, oh, I guess just any narcotic. Yeah, always. any sort of I, substance. Yeah, I was always very slick about it. Like I would just come home and go straight to bed. Or I would just come home and go straight to my room, and that was that was like my known behavior anyway. Yeah, so it wasn't out of the question. ordinary. If you like, it's not like you came in normally and just talked to them for an hour, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'd come home, they'd be watching TV, and then I'd I'd go upstairs and I'd go to bed. Or yeah, I'd be like play. night and just go upstairs. And, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, or like go play Final Fantasy Tactics for like a couple hours or something. You know? Yeah, I um I used to do stuff when my parents were home. I didn't care. Used to do stuff with my parents. Yeah, <laughs> really? Sure did, man. Like wow, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, man. I never did anything in the house. I would always go out with you, de- degenerates. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say what I did because I don't want to. Uh, I mean, incriminate it's myself. But I was under the influence of things at my home. At times. We're obviously talking about things that neither our parents or us could be caught under any statute of limitations. Yeah, so. I mean, and yeah, and I'm actually just completely lying. Oh, no, yeah, that part, that I'm, part. Yeah, I mean, am I? I might be, yeah. But yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple, there's a couple stories I could tell, but I, I'm not going to tell them because they'll incriminate <laughs> me. Um, there was one time that, I'll tell you the vague story, mm-hmm. I, 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 I was. Uh, I thought my dad was leaving. It was when I was. It was in high school. You thought, you thought they were getting a divorce? No, I thought he was like going to be like he would go on Saturday nights. <laughs> oh, he I would leave. He would hang out at home, and then he would like go. His <laughs> girlfriend owned a bar. He'd go up there, help her close the bar, mm-hmm. and then he'd go stay at her house. So I was under the assumption he was leaving at a certain time. He ended up not leaving until way later, and I was like. Oh man! And then he like came in and started <laughs> talking to me and stuff. And I was like, "Yeah, just hanging out, dude. Just watch, just hanging out." Like I was like, "God damn it!" Like just seeing you had that dialogue window open up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it was fun. I mean, hey, you know, it's okay. I mean, what, what was he gonna do? I mean, he was old hippie. Uh, have a stern talking to. Nah, he was. Too You're docile. gonna get a stern talking to. He was like. Bye. I feel like my parents knew what, what, like I was doing stuff, but they just couldn't really prove it. And plus, like I said, I didn't bring any. Yeah, stuff it wasn't home. at home, so yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. If you went out to your friends and got drunk, then how are they gonna know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They never know if they never know. Yep. Exactly. Well, and here's the thing: I think that all kids don't realize if you're smoking anything, whether it's cigarettes or weed or whatever, you smell like smoke when you come home. Yeah. Hundred percent. Especially yeah. if your parents don't smoke. That yeah. that sticks out like a it might as well it you really might as well have a siren on your back going woo woo. Really like I used to go to my grandma like when I would smoke cigarettes back in the day I'd smoke like three cigarettes on the way out to my grandma's and then try to pretend like I didn't smell like cigarettes when I walked in the door. <laughs> so I'd be like I'm gonna be here for like three hours I better smoke a couple cigarettes. See I was never big on smoking cigarettes. I mean I was big on it but I was never big on it. You know? Yeah I uh I yeah, I've, I've, I didn't for a long, I didn't for a very long for a big chunk of time. But uh, yeah, I was into it. I mean, I I didn't like it, but I was addicted. <laughs> I was addicted. I mean, too. it was hard to quit, and I did, and I haven't smoked since. So, like, I, I'm honestly, I'm surprised that like anybody still smokes nowadays. Honestly, yeah, it's it's I. But you know what's really interesting is like even going out nowadays, um, I don't see a lot of people smoking. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't smoke in bars, obviously, but even yeah. outside, there's a very, I see way more people vaping than smoking. Yeah. Very occasionally, you'll, you'll see somebody, but Where the hell they're like was people I? of a certain age. It's like the younger generation isn't really getting down with that as well. Yeah. I was somewhere. Where the hell was I? And I was like, is somebody smoking? <laughs> like, that was like the first time I really was like, last somebody's time we, out here smoking. Last time we went out, somebody in our group offered me a cigarette, and I was like, what? Oh yeah! I was like, yeah. "What is that? I don't, I don't know." You're what to like, do "How with much that. are those now? Nineteen dollars a pack?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. And you know, I smoked uh, not too long ago, to be honest. Yeah, when the hell I quit, was though. I? When they, I don't even know where the hell I was. Yeah, somebody was just. I was just like, "There's somebody here smoking. What the fudge?" Like, yeah. I, mean, I don't mind vaping because it doesn't stink. I mean, I mean, if they're puffing clouds, like. I don't want you blowing your cake battered ice cream <laughs> scented freaking 
blow off in my face. Though. Yeah, I don't want them blowing me, but like, it's right? But like, if they're, if I happen to be like, oh, I smell strawberries and cream. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I call That's this nice. a dragon. It reminds it reminds me of a dragon's mist. <laughs> a dragon's <laughs> mist. <laughs> So, but anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Uh, please make sure to go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Dandy. Uh, we are out.